these are the boundaries you can see convergent boundary the plates are moving towards one another that's convergent boundary the divergent boundary the plates will move away from one another okay and this is the transform boundary the plates are slipping past they are not colliding not moving away they are slipping past okay and these movements uh, depends on the orientation of the convection cells underneath the convection cells if they are moving into one another or they are moving away from one another and so on so no problem with this either now this is the development of the divergent boundary okay so in divergent boundary what happens is the continent first okay bulges out when it bulges out what do we call this as this is called as the domal upliftment bulges out it gets stretched it gets pulled it becomes thin there is cracking a nascent a sea like a red sea and then the proper ocean so you could see this okay you could see this divergent boundaries may we will have uh, volcanoes we can also have rift valleys and mountains and we can have earthquakes an example of divergent boundary you can see this uh, this rift valley forming here and uh, this this crust here this is what type of crust anybody this is what type of the crust this is what type of crust this is the crust which is basaltic yes the ocean is basaltic okay and these two are of course the bigger continental parts they break apart finally okay then we have the triple junction i you can now visualize this pretty well okay you have a bulge you have a bulge here the domal bulge the crack will have uh, three arms this is the triple junction three arms and of these three arms so one will die off allocogen this is the dead arm and these two will remain active and this part will separate out can you all see this diagram all of you divergent boundary i hope now you can imagine things a bit more clearly yes the domal upliftment the triple junctions the failed arm and the other two arms continue to be active okay so this so this is the rising plume you can see the animation here the rising plume okay the lava is rising up rising plume it is stretching it you can see the stretching happening here stretching the ocean is formed and this entire rifting the rift valley is forming with the nascent ocean eventually so we have taken some of these animations uh, uh, from the net uh, national geographic okay so is it understandable all of you can you can understand these diagrams now the rising mantle plumes they create the plate thinning and the stretching and the finally we have got rifting okay so you can you can imagine now so this is the uh, parts of africa that we have so this is the rift valley this huge one we can see here this is the rift valley here uh, this is lake malawi this is lake tanganaika this is lake malawi this is lake tanganaika this is lake victoria is entire crack here and this crack goes into the red sea and this part the southern part of arabian peninsula so this is the uh, rift valley like this and goes into the red sea okay and finally if this part again becomes active uh, this part can separate out you can see the africa continent from the east breaking away the uh, nascent ocean will not have a proper mor will not have a proper mor but eventually the mor will develop eventually the mor will develop so the convergent boundaries now so we have ocean ocean convergence ocean continent convergence and continent continent convergence so you have any doubts on the divergent boundary anybody any doubts on the divergent boundary all clear okay so the convergent boundary interactions let's take up one by one quickly so the heavier plate in ocean ocean the heavier one will go underneath so this is the heavier one it's going underneath we have a trench this uh, volcano magma rising creates volcanic islands here uh, on the side of the trench it is called as the fore arc 
This is called as the back arc. Back arc is like a marginal C. Like a marginal C. Okay. So here you can see the animation of the ocean floor going inside slowly, gradually it's melting. The scraping action is going on. Accretionary prism will accumulate. Okay. Yes, Chitrakoot is also part of a rift valley, but not like African rift valley. Not like African rift valley. Okay. This. Then we have the ocean ocean convergence ka ek or animation dekho aap. The ocean is going down. It's going down. It is subducting. It is melting. The molten magma is rising, creating a volcano here. Okay, and uh, this and this is kind of a collision happening. This is a kind of a collision convergence happening. Okay, and uh, in on the atlas, you can see this in North America. This is the Aleutian Islands. Aleutian Islands, we have the Aleutian Trench. I've shown this to you already. This is the Bering Sea part. Yeah, this is the Bering Sea part. The ocean ocean convergence. So there are different parts. Okay. Uh, all of these are archipelagos. Japan is the archipelago. Taiwan. Taiwan is a different case. Uh, Philippines islands are archipelagos. Indonesian islands are archipelagos. Even Andaman Nicobar islands are archipelagos. Pura arc hai. One continuous arc like this. Andaman Nicobar Islands, the islands of uh, uh, Indonesia, Philippines Island, Japanese Island, and so on. Magma may water hota hai, but not as much. And not as much. This is the ocean continent convergence. Okay, so you can imagine this ocean going down, scraping. This is the Andes type of mountains. The Andes type of mountains. And on the mountains, we can have volcanic eruptions. On the mountains, we have the volcanic eruptions. Okay, this is the continent, the accretionary wedge or the prism, magma rising and creating these volcanoes. So, example of these volcanoes. Okay, if you remember Chimbrazo, Cotopaxi, Ojas, Del Salados. Is there possible where both ocean slabs will end at the same time? <laughs> Dorji, I don't have examples of that. Okay, how, how can both of them end at the same time? When subduction happens, one can go in. Okay, yeah, this is the OC type of old mountain. Okay, passive plate margin where there is no interaction. Okay, when the two plates are lying side by side, but there's no interaction, becomes a passive plate margin. Okay, so this is done. This is the CC collision. Okay, look at that. The two plates collide and you have the Himalayan type of okay, mountain. So continent 1, continent 2, both have collided. Okay, there is some under thrusting and the Himalayan type of mountains are formed. The CC collision. Passive plate margin means there is no interaction. Neither convergence, nor divergence, nor sliding past. Two plates are side by side, but no interaction. This is an example of, this one is a CC collision and the Himalaya type of mountains will be formed. Yes. Okay, so this is done. The formation of Himalayas, dekho. The indo austral plate. This is the Indian part. It's coming from south and hits the Eurasian plate. Okay, you can see this, Tethi Sea is going down, the Tethi Sea closes, collision of India plate with Eurasia and the Himalayas are forming. Okay, the appro appro approximate time, Himalayan upliftment started approximately around 60 million years ago, 62 million years ago. Indian plate coming from south, colliding with Eurasia and the formation of the Himalayas. All good? Yes, it is not subducting, it is under thrusting. Correct. Under thrusting means it just goes under the other continent but does not enter into the mantle. It just goes under the continent but does not enter into the mantle. 
yes volcanism in the himalayas till the time there is an ocean subduction going on when the ocean subduction stops the volcanism will also stop so when ocean subduction is over then there is no volcanism yes if the crust that is subducting stops there will be no volcanism lava is basaltic yes bhavya in divergent boundaries the lava is basaltic in convergent boundaries the lava is andesitic iska reason kya hai will come and explain in one or two classes okay so let's move on so this is the transform boundary where the two continents are slipping they are not colliding they are not diverging out they are slipping so when you have got slippage of continents you will not have volcanoes you will not have mountain building but you will have earthquakes you can have a seismic activities going on you will have a massive rift valley so transform fault may okay the plates are moving there will be no volcanoes there will be no volcanoes no mountains only earthquakes only earthquakes an example of this is remember juan de fuca plate is sliding in the northwest direction with respect to north american plate and it's a very uh, infamous uh, fault called as a san andreas fault a san andreas fault is a crack it's a rift valley right across california okay it's called as the san andreas fault